Jeff, how's it going? Good. Thanks for having me. Yeah, well, thank you for, for coming on and sharing your thoughts about the course. And I know you've been really active in the, in the course, in the community, um, doing all the homework, and uh, it seems like you're getting a lot of value. What, um, what has your experience been like um, going through the program so far? Um, well, it's been good. It's been a little fast paced, which um, I anticipated, but um, being a little bit new to some of the technology and stuff, it's just been a little intense, but very, very well worth uh, the, the cost of the program and just um, uh, the learning curve has just been fun. That's awesome. And what um, I know you might have learned, you must have learned a lot of stuff from this course. What are some of the one or two biggest things you took away after taking this course? Um, well, be, not being from a, a tech background, um, I had to learn a little bit of uh, even the integrations of things like lead pages and stuff like that. So, um, and then just seeing how the sequences and things like that flow and learning kind of the algorithm of how things work efficiently is particularly with the bots. And um, yeah, it's been a lot it's been real good. Got it. You said you're not um, that technical or oh, you're still getting new to all this technical stuff. Um, you want to share, share to, to uh, people who are watching this, um, what your background is? Well, I'm a full-time fireman and then, uh, just kind of dabbled with small business and things like that on the side, you know, um, had a photography company for a little bit and, um, it was my first venture into tech. I'm to do something where I could be a little bit more at home as mm -hmm. I have a young, young family. So mm -hmm. that was the impetus and the reason to get started in the program. Got it. And so why, why boss? I mean, there's a lot of different businesses or courses where you can um, potentially make a business and work from home and, or do mm -hmm. freelance or remote work, but why, why bots? Why Andrew Warner? Why this course? Um, and particularly it had not a whole lot to do with the fact that it was bots, but it had to do that it was with Andrew. Mm. I'm an avid listener of Mixergy and he seems like the type of person who's not going to really waste his time with anything other than what he thinks is very valuable and worthwhile. And I also like his style in the interviews. You could tell that he's very um, just organized and concise. And so I figured any program that he's going to offer would offer that style and format. And so that's kind of my style. And I really wasn't let down. It was, it was exactly what I thought he's, yeah. Straight to, the, straight to the point and efficient. That's awesome. I was going to ask you, like, did he deliver? Like, hopefully he did. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, both, both of you did. So, yeah, thank you for that. That's awesome. Um, cool. Um, what are some other like, – let's, let's go to the community because I've seen you post many times in the community, and I know you're full-time. You have, you know, your own life outside of being a fireman. Um, how has the community been like for you and for helping you with um, the course? Uh, very integral into my success so far. And a lot of the posts had to do with the fact that I don't have a good uh, tech experience or background. So I had even some of the most elementary questions and uh, I was able to post them. And what I found was that everyone in the community uh, that posts on there was not just helpful, but most people even went the extra mile. Uh, Nick even met me off or online outside of the program and, uh, walk me through some of the essential steps that I needed to, you know, put the short code or for into the, into the lead pages and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. And just a very helpful group of people. And I'm there a lot because I do have that learning curve. That's probably greater than most. And so when Dominique posts those um, articles and the latest things of what's going on in bots, it's just very helpful for someone like myself. Yeah. That's yeah. awesome. And I guess to, to wrap things up, if someone's on the fence right now and saying, thinking like, oh, I want to join this bot course, but I think I could probably do it on my own, or I think I could um, do some, I should do some other course. Um, what, what would you say to that person who's like thinking about doing this? If you're coming from a position like myself, not having a lot of experience, I would say I wouldn't try it. You know, even we're seeing experienced people that you guys are posting examples of. Yeah. And they're making the mistakes that Andrew's kept us from making. And so <laughs> I think that the course is very beneficial. And the last thing I would say in regards to the, the process is trust the process, trust Andrew's process. Um, he'll suss out whether you're right for the program or not, because um, even if you don't have a tech background, anything in life like this, that's going to be successful. It's going to be a lot of work. 
And I think that's one of his major objectives when he talks to you, he wants to make sure not that you're just enthusiastic about the program, but also have time to complete it. And I think that was, that's key. So trust the process. Trust the process. Well said. Yeah. Well, that's all the questions I have. You are spot on. Uh, okay. Thank you so much for, for sharing your story. Sure. Thanks for having me. Hopefully the video wasn't too shaky. I've been holding my phone up. <laughs> You're good. I'm going to stop recording now.